Welcome back everybody. It is the morning of September 7th and uh, Craig and I are the lone shooters this morning. Everybody else is working or doing something or just didn't like the fact that we're hunting just a couple of birds but it's the weekend and I can only hunt on the weekends. I've been out of town all week and uh, it's ready to get out here and try to shoot a honker. So if we shoot one goose this morning this is going to be a success. Last night, uh, I watched like 30 geese come to this oat field here. It's actually on my buddy's property, and uh, he just took these oats off last week, and they're finally, finally on it. So, if you can see here, there's kind of a, everything's flat, and then there's kind of a little knoll right here. All the geese are just off this knoll yesterday night when they came, and uh, we're hiding the blinds on the back side of this knoll because this is super low cut oats so we didn't want to put them on the side the geese are going to be coming from so we're trying to hide them on the back side and we left the top of that hill open hopefully that's where the birds want to want to land like i said i really don't have any high expectations for this uh, if we kill a goose it's going to be a success so i just wanted to come spend some time with my buddy out here and uh kaylee and enjoy enjoy what we love to do so we're in New York, we're allowed seven, uh, seven shots a gun, so that's why our guns aren't plugged, because it's legal here in New York. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. Am I? Stay tuned, we're going to try to shoot them up when they come. Got some good breakfast in us this morning at the DV2. If you're in uh, the climber area, I highly recommend uh, trying out the the Dutch Village restaurant. Pretty good stuff. They're coming right in. Shoot him. We just wrecked them. Wrecked them. I wasn't going to let him screw around. He acted a little worried. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So, as you can see, it's already been a successful hunt. We had the first uh, group of birds come in and not question anything. I mean, those things were locked on to the dive bomb decoys from probably 300 yards out and just came right in and lit right here at 15 yards and uh, I started on the right and started working my way over and Craig's gun was actually had a bunch of uh, hay on it and stuff so it took him a second to get going but we killed 
uh, all of them except three, which is how many we killed seven out of that flock. Seven out of that flock. And the dive bomb decoys, these things are sweet. You can't beat being able to carry five dozen decoys out here over your shoulder. And when you walk 50 yards away, or even right here, when you look at the ones that are sideways, you, there's no way you can tell that they're not full body decoys. They're, they're amazing. Uh, I mean, the, that flock, you know, dropping right in our face on these decoys proves it right there. They had absolutely no idea. Being on the back side of this hill, our blinds were pretty well concealed by this hill and the decoys in front of us and worked out good so far and it was already worth getting up. So we're just gonna sit back, relax, and there was about 30 geese out here yesterday night, so we know there's probably 20 more or so that uh, should end up coming unless them three went back to the roost and uh, spread the word not to come to feed this morning, but we'll see. Oh shit, it sounds like a lot. Oh yeah, they're coming. Okay, well this is it folks. We uh, sat it out till, what time is it now, like 9? 8.45. 8.45 and uh, we know we've seen all the birds that were coming here. There's only 30 of them here last night and uh, I think we actually seen more birds than just 30 but that last uh, two flocks that came kind of screwed us. They landed off to the right of us and I had birds right next to me but I couldn't shoot them because I have uh, a row in the house right off the right side of my blind where those ones were landed so I had to shoot at ones that were you know a little bit farther out in front of me but we were able to get two out of that but really that was the only if those flocks would have worked right man we would have really tore them up we hunted overall dive bomb silhouette decoys and uh, these are the v2f series so if you guys want to check these out I got a link in the description they're absolutely awesome decoys and we actually only used uh, five dozen this morning. We brought two bags just because they're so easy to carry. If we wanted to uh, put another five dozen out, it would have been no problem to do so. You know, you really can't beat that. Those things, those uh, dive bomb decoys or silhouettes are, are sweet and uh, certainly fooled these geese. It's just Craig and I this morning and Kaylee behind the camera. So I appreciate you uh, filming, babe. And We'll be back at it, and uh, I've got a lot of comments for another uh, uh, cooking or goose cooking video. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, cook one of these up tonight. And I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, I'm new to Instagram. If you guys want to follow me at keo underscore underscore vlogs, feel free to. And uh, still trying to figure out how it works, but we're getting there. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>